Welcome back. Leo Stonewall Jackson Chilson is here in the studio, and he comes periodically to, to tout his books. And you're a prolific writer. And I write a lot, too. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And he's a comedian. Yeah, yeah his jokes are okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. I think but, he's, you better watch it. Did I get in trouble? Well, you might. I might get in trouble. I stay in trouble. Anyway, this is, this is your new book? Number Blood six. Blood in the Forest. This, Blood in the Forest. Right. And are you, this one's completely finished. Yep. There's no more writing. This is ready to go. Yeah, that one's off and running. This is hot off the presses, ready, ready for everyone out there to pick it up. What era Where? is this written in? This is uh, 1763 era. The, uh, everybody's probably heard of the French and Indian War and the American Revolution. Well, this is the Pontiac Rebellion. It took place in 1763 uh, after the See. British took mm -hmm. over the Canada and the western part of the colonies. Uh, they changed the rules with how they dealt with the uh, Native Americans. And the Pontiac Rebellion is a rebellion by the Indians to try and throw the British out. Okay. And it was very bloody, and uh, there's some scenes in there that are, it's factual. Okay. That well, actually okay. happened. But it, is, is that how you get ideas for your books? You read history, and then you come up with a story? Right. Uh, this, this one came about because uh, I, at Arkansas Tech, I was majoring in history, and I did uh, independent study on the Pontiac Rebellion. And I spoke to, they wanted about a 20 page paper. Mm -hmm. Mine was 95 pages. Of course mm -hmm. it was. And so, <laughs> the, but the idea is for my book, it's just uh, an idea that might hit me for. Uh, like the one I'm right now, the Johnson County Wars in Wyoming. Okay. And mm -hmm. I started writing it, and I'm, it was on fat chapter five, and I actually skipped it because an idea hit me for the next chapter. Mm -hmm. So I went back to write chapter five, and I ended up after writing three chapters, and then moving it all the way to the beginning of the book and making the original first chapter, chapter four now. How, wow. do, you, how do you keep up with all that? Yeah, how do you? I, it just it just clicks. Mm -hmm. okay. I, have, I have no idea. It just uh, I just sit down and I have no idea what I'm going to write. And they talk about writer's block. I know I can sit down and just start and it just starts coming out there. Okay. In my head, the people are talking. Mm -hmm. uh, the scenes there and and I just I just. Put it down. I'm, He's okay. just creative. He, just creative. Just, you know. Now, now you recently uh, experienced a milestone in your life. You want to tell us about that? Yeah, on May 11th, I graduated from Arkansas Tech Magna Cum Laude with a bachelor's in history. That's 2019. That's this year. And that's 51 years after I got out of high school and 26 years after I got a <laughs> bachelor's degree from the University of Nevada, Las Vegas. And if they get a math, they're looking to get a math program online up mm -hmm. and running for history. If they do that, then I'll stick around another two years and go for a math. So you're oh, doing cool. all that and writing all at the same time. Well, the thing is that, believe it or not, I, I wrote four books by a tech, plus started the fifth one, and plus doing all the studying the paperwork mm -hmm. and all this, everything there. But since I got out of school in the summer, I've only written five, six, seven really? chapters. I don't, I'm bored. You do a little uh, better when you're really busy. Yes, uh, like. with the other, it just, everything just works mm -hmm. together. Mm -hmm. I can, mm -hmm. I can okay. read, write, and hold things. I brought this along too. Okay, just, what okay. do you got? Waverly, Ohio, newspaper. Okay. Is there an article? <laughs> Oh, okay. You got, wow. a, you got a front page article on here. And it says, Former Resident Authors Road to Destiny Series. It just talks about your books, right? Right. Yeah, okay. It tells about all my books. And this is uh, my uncle donated them all to uh, the library up in Waverly, Ohio. And okay. And did an article about nice. it. Well, that's what it, what it takes to get someone interested in 
your works is is they get to read them and 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 once they read them you have a a long list of uh, testimonials, right, positive that's, testimonials. That's what I'm doing. And I actually already got an email from somebody f that read the book up in Waverly. Mm -hmm. Good deal. But what I'm trying to do right now, if anybody has read Blood on the Battlefield, my first one, the Civil War novel, uh, at the back you have my email address. I'm trying to get people to send me their thoughts about the book, why they liked it, so that I can put them together and send when I send to an agent or a publisher, I can say, these people like the book. Mm -hmm. right. And so it's worth taking a look at. Right. So that's all I can, I'm trying okay. to do here. Are, are you going to have a book signings with this one? or? I, I would love to, but okay. I, you got to get a library. you got sure. somebody okay. to, well, to do it if, for you. Well, if uh, there's a lot of people out there, our viewers, that, that frequent the library, and, and some of the, our viewers yeah, are these are part of the library books, system. So. All my books are at the, the library, library here in Harrison, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm trying to get them over to uh, the ones in Mountain Home. Okay. So, but I would like to, while uh, I got a chance, I need to thank five people. I told them I'd do it on the air because okay. they're always the first ones to buy my books when they come out. And uh, that's Angel and Tamara in Yelville, Vicki Barr, who is the uh, co-manager of the Harrison Village Campground, Wes Brower, who is the owner of the Primo Mexican restaurant between Wendy's and uh, mm -hmm. Weston and Sizzler, and of course, Ginger, the director of the library here in Harrison. Okay. Uh, whenever my book came out, I was the first one to get one, and I really just wanted to say thank you to you for, for support. I really right. appreciate it. And then also thank you two for putting up with me. And, you know, uh, you and Dan are both a little rough to put up with, yeah. but it's okay. So, <laughs> well, Leo, thanks for coming. The Thank you. the book is called Blood in the Forest, and it's available now. Where they can, where can they get this? You can get it. It's on uh, Amazon.com, mm -hmm. or you can always email me. And if you want an autographed copy, I usually give sure. you a better okay. deal. Okay. And uh, but the. Uh, the people, all my, the thing is, all my books are getting really good feedback. And the only problem with trying to get an agent or a publisher, you can only send them two or three chapters or, right. or mm -hmm. something so like to. that. And it, it's hard, but that's why if I can get, uh, I want to push blood in the battlefield because of the, because women really like it. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. And I've been getting, I had one, I stopped at the bank and the teller said that, I bought Blood in the Battlefield and I gave it to my mother for her birthday. And she told me that she really enjoyed it and it was one of the best birthday gifts she's ever gotten. Oh, nice. nice. Okay. And that, that just, oh, yeah. I love yeah. that. Cool. <laughs> right. Well, we have more information at the end of the show on how to contact Leo and how to get the book. So um, if you want more information, jot that information down at the end of the show. Thanks, thanks, Leo, for yeah, coming by. Appreciate my it. pleasure it. again. And, uh, well, probably if I get the one I'm working, it's going to be called Blood on the Star if I get it finished in about two months. And okay. Well, you'll come have back. To put up with my ugly come mug back. again. All sure. Right. All right. Appreciate <laughs> it. Thanks, Leo. Thank you. Up next, we have, where are we going to go? We, Lindsay Jones okay. and Walker Robinson, songwriter and performer. All right. So, well, stay with us. Yeah. 